Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Real quick, man. I got this uh, uh, challenge in here with a 3-6. But real quick, I want to address an email that I just read off my uh, uh, Facebook page. Uh, uh, subscriber or friend, I guess, uh, asked a question. And I got the perfect guy here to answer that question. So as I always do, instead of typing in a long answer, I just soon shoot a short video and explain it that way. This question was, he have a P0420 uh, cat catalytic cat efficiency code. All right. Now his question was simple: uh, which side is the cat on? Now that's a like an open question. That's too open up. But I'm a, I'm a, I did a video early on the uh, O2 sensors, how to locate your proper O2 sensor. As you know, some cars have four O2 sensors. A lot of people have problems figuring out which O2 sensor in question, but we're gonna stick with this four O P O four two O. He wanna basically wanna know what side is bank one cat is on. Now I'm gonna pull the camera down and show you, but before you just assume the cat is the problem, run your diagnostic. Well, ain't much diagnostic you can do on a cat efficiency code, but just don't want to get in the habit of replacing a part based off its fault code name. Say, for instance, you see a code say a uh, map sensor votes high. You're going to replace the map sensor. But that's the first thing people do. They just run and replace the map sensor. The code was map sensor votes high. So that's likely a wiring problem, not a hard prop, hard part problem. But people tend to replace parts based on its fault code name. But instead of telling you what side bank one cat is on, I'm going to pull the camera down. We're going to go through this together. Because again, like I say, don't try to memorize this stuff. Just memorize how it's diagnosed. All right, I'm going to pull the camera down and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, right here. I got the cover off. Now let's take a look at this engine. This engine is actually face front, frontwards. Uh, this 3.6 engine can be installed sideways or whatever. But now what we want to look for is a... Uh, uh, the cylinder head that's closest to the front. All right, so you can kind of do this. You can kind of eyeball this. Uh, I've been known to eyeball these, and uh, you can do it that way. Again, we're trying to determine where is cylinder one. This is how you determine where bank one is. Bank one is basically wherever cylinder one is. In this case, it's on this side right here. This is cylinder one right here because it's closest to the front. Okay, now. Bank one is obviously on this side. So down there, right there, that would be considered a uh, cat one. All right, so there you have it. That will be the location of the bank one cat converter. All right, so that is the best way to determine where bank one is. Basically, it's wherever cylinder one is. All right, thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.